And now here is yet another type of Cockney slang with a story about sea lions and seals. Only some Cockneys say sea lions and seals. I must tell you of Alec, my fishmonger friend, how he come to train sea lions and seals. Because he first started life in a very small way, selling addicts, kippers and eels. He sells skate and place and codlings and all, a variety of fishes he sells. And as there was plenty of all kinds of fishes, there was plenty of all kinds of smells. And so it fell out, I mean it happened one day, he got tired, you know how one feels, and he shut up his shop and he went to a circus where one act was sealars and seals. I must say at this point he'd been given a seat because someone had complied with his wishes and he sat by the ring in the very same suit in the which he'd been selling his fishes. When a nice girl said through groms, he says, not for me, I've seen all the acts on the bills. And he sat through the show munching apples and sweets, when in comes the sea lions and sills. At the start they was doing their stuff as they should, and the audience whistles and shouts, while one plate the cornet, two stood cheek by jowl, and was balancing balls on their snouts. Then all of a sudden the trainer realised they had not got their minds on their act. And he saw in a trice that to finish the show, he'd have to use plenty of tact. But the scent of the suit to my fishmonger friend was too much for the sea lions and sills. And as they had not had no food for some hours, you can tell how the hungry still fills. Then the sea lions and seals started making for Alec, a flapping their fins with loud squills, and before he had time to get off his seat, he was smothered with sea lions and seals. But he made his escape and he ran for his life with the sea lions and seals at his hills. He got home in the dark, his wife said, who's your friends? He said, they're not friends, they're sea lions and seals. But Alec felt sorry and opened his shop to get food for the sea lions and seals and they liked him so much that he taught them new tricks while they ate up his fishes and eels. So that is the tale of my story of Alec, the one vital point it reveals, and that is you can't keep a fish shop as well if you want to keep sea lions and seals.